Hey guys, how's it going? Kripain here. As you probably know by now, the first deck that I play every time there is a new expansion is the 30 Legendary deck. Now, the 30 Legendary deck, uh, unfortunately, is no more. However, we now have the 35 Legendary deck, thanks to Prince Malkazar. And Prince Malkazar, when you have a deck full of Legendaries, you generally don't want extras. But uh, the body is really good, and through playtesting the card, it actually does kind of work all right. Um, because, you know, you get the cards after the mulligan stage, and when you're playing, you know, a deck filled with legendaries, the main issue is that you actually get a low-curve low opening hand. It doesn't interfere with that too much, and generally it has some cool effects. And, uh, you know, a few things to note, you know, if you guys check out the deck list here, um, if you had extra legendaries in your deck, you would think it might interrupt a card like Reno Jackson. In fact, it does not. The legendaries that are added to your deck cannot be copies of ones you already have in there. So Reno Jackson will always, always still activate. And the other part is actually positive synergy. So I decided to use the curator in this deck and um, I don't actually have a beast in the deck, but because of the fact that I get five random legendaries put in my deck and there are, you know, a decent number of beast legendaries, it does happen. Actually, I think out of the times I played curator, all times but one, it actually pulled a beast that wasn't in my deck originally, but, you know, was manufactured by Malakazar's effect. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that happens. And, um, you know, I do play the deck in wild, even though it's largely uh, standard cards right now. I just want to have like a linear progression and document and, you know, kind of see how this deck advances as new cards are introduced. And I would guess you know, with enough expansions, with enough low curve legendaries, I think a full legend, full 35 legendary deck will actually be pretty competitive one day. And you know, in, in this step, in the One Night in Karazhan step up from the last few expansions, I noticed the first time that I actually had tough decisions taking out old cards and putting in new ones, which means the deck is actually at a decent spot. Now, while, you know, I did okay with the deck, keep in mind it is very low rank because I don't traditionally play wild, but at the same time, most people, even those in the 20s in the ranking in the wild format, they typically don't play wild either because it's just not a very populated format, but you have to keep in mind it's still a format where you can have a lot of fun. So check out the clips, enjoy the moments, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yep. Get rid of everything. Whoa! That's cool. Handle it. Oh my god. That's not okay at all. Alright guys. I I think we just set a record, guys. On turn three we have twenty-nine cards in, in our deck. World first, guys, world first. Actually, you can have 30, right? You can... Well, you can have more of the gang up. Damn it. Dude, smirking me, man. Holy shit. Alright. Get back. Alright, let me... Well, should I? God, if he gets on 5, though. Oh, no, it's not gonna work, because that can be something different next turn. Okay, that's good. That's good. Dude, this is gonna be the most epic rank 25 game you'll ever see. Okay. I don't wanna hear it. Don't wanna hear it. Actually, it's a bug. I'm actually legend rank in wild. Uh, just, you know, not many wild players, so, you know, what can you do? Sometimes you gotta marginalize the competition. Reporting for duty. Oh, see? I was. Dude. Dude, I just got Ram Wrangler twice in a row. 
No way. Is that bugged? Ha no. There's like 700 fucking minions now. Well, let's go for three, I guess. Reporting for duty. My shield for Argus. No, no, we we actually just did that. All right, dudes. Harambi lives. Well, for now. For this okay. No, Reno works. Um, Prince Malkazar does not put in duplicate legendaries in your deck. Dude, no respect for Stalag. Oh man. Wait, 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 wait. What do I have? 12. It could be lethal. It's not It's not very likely, but it could be lethal. So, so okay, let's see. No, I don't think it can be lethal anymore. Let me see. So that's four. Uh, no, it can't be lethal anymore. All right, I guess. Um, well, rip Harambe. I'm just gonna guarantee the heal on me. Okay. He died for our heals, guys. It's fine. Reporting for duty. Okay. My opponent is either going to spend lots of money on packs after this game, or quit the game. Dude, these strats, man, these strats. No spells. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's amazing. Uh. Dude, he I got Lorewalker Cho top deck. On turn two, when I could play him from Prince Malkazar, which puts totally random legendaries, and it so happened that I have no spells in the entire deck because it's a 35 legendary deck, and he went second, so now he can't even coin. Okay, that's a little bit unusual and funny, alright? I mean, I'm sorry if you don't find that funny. You know, maybe, maybe you should, you know, lighten up a little bit, but I think that's objectively pretty cool and funny, alright? I'm calling it, I'm calling it funny, guys. No! Don't you dick off. <laughs> Dude! That RNG just did a 180 on me. Are you kidding me? That's the sec- I've, I've only barns like three times. It's done that twice. Something needs tinkering? Well, actually... Hmm. It's not- He's not gonna kill that now, so... That kinda helps. I was gonna give me a spare part. 
Oh, damn. Wait, what? He's leaving that up. Wow. That's actually shocking to me. Okay, well, we didn't give him another one at least. Wow. That is a mech. I just hope he doesn't go for the triple kill. <sighs> I think I think he is gonna go for the triple kill though. Yeah, why wouldn't you, right? Never gr Grimok. Gormok, the impaler. Nah, there's nothing I can do to Gormok here. Gormok's still the best players. Alright. I have a lot of heals, but he's playing for, like, board, which is kind of bad for me right now. Something needs tinkering? Tempo Mage is the first deck you could think to play for a Medivh. Uh, I guess. I can fix anything. Wow. That was really unnecessary. Move quickly. That was really unnecessary as well. The battle! The battle! Harrison, please. Would have been cool, I guess. Think of the junk bot valley this guy could have. <laughs> oh god. Alright, dude. Hmm. I mean, if I had a dragon, this play would really suck. Because it would still kill the 3-3 if I had a dragon. It's very sad that I do not have a dragon. Alright, let's do this. Let's see if I get three. Oh, see, got three! Beast! Easy! Uh, let's go shapeshift. Gives me a little bit of healing if I need it. Oh crap. I, I played right into that. Somehow. Okay. Something needs tinkering? I just need his big dude off the board here. Yeah, the beast is probably not going to see play, but... Oh god. That's not okay. Still in pretty bad shape, but okay. I'm actually in really bad shape. He has 30. I'm dead if I don't heal for one. Okay, I'm alive now. Oh my god. Miscalc. Please miscalc. Oh god. Oh god, it's happening. That 
was a mistake. <laughs> oh god, I I'm getting trolled, aren't I? <laughs> oh, that's that's a win, boys. That's, that's a rank 23 victory, guys. Victory. Well played, guys. Well played. See. And that's why that's why you go to class, guys. You gotta get those mathematics. I, mean, I again have a really good hand here. Press the button and craft every minion gold. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. I can wait to finish all day. Seems good. Oh, he's playing a middle deck? Well then, I'm not so sure what to think right now. I don't know what's happening right now, dude. Okay. Let's show our guests a good time. Why am I playing wild if only five cards are non-standard? What are those five of them? Fugan, Stalag. Murloc. Actually, yeah. I think you're right. Oh, Boom and Toshley. Boom and Toshley are pretty big for Nazoth. I'd have to drop the Nazoth combos. I don't know. I just... Um, this is one of my favorite things to do. Whenever new cards come out, I play my maximum legendary deck. And if it's in wild, it actually has, like, linear progression. Like, it gets better all the time. Right? Whereas in standard, it, it probably gets worse almost all the time. Like, the next expansion is going to probably knock out... Uh, Grand Tournament and the other crap, right? That's going to be a disaster. Okay, I'll have no early game. Oh. Okay. Kills Morris. It's pretty lucky. It highlighted my Doctor Boom in my tracker. I think he just top decked Boom, and I think the tracker got that information from him, which is ridiculous. Did you guys see that? I saw my Doctor Boom light up. That's card eight. This card. If that's Doctor Boom, that's pretty fucked. Okay. The Brotherhood shall obey. Put your faith in the light. See, that one didn't light up Doctor Room. Card in the middle is probably Doctor Room, and he's probably going to play it right now. Not. Okay, well, maybe it's not. I don't know why you'd ever make that play if it was, right? Okay, 
I guess. No, it was heal bot. Oh, never mind. Drink with me, friend. You should probably still kill Ragnaros though. Solid. I can kill him in one turn without Lestraza, so I'm not I'm not worried about like getting milled right now. Okay. hope there's no um, vanish. Vanish would actually screw me over a lot. So many Incredible. Well, if that's it, I win. Oh no, I don't want to click on that. Alright, good. Burn. The pleasure is The pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine. 